So basically what we've designed here is a uh, DC power system for the Cube satellite. You can see here is kind of an overview of what the system does. It takes in a PV panel here, a solar panel, um, as well as batteries. Um, and it has a few different, a few different systems to control the power coming from the solar panel into the batteries and to our system as well. So what happens is during when the when the sun is out or during the, the light side, so to speak, um, the solar panel will be active, and you've got a flexible battery charging module FBCM um, that our friend Eli over here designed. And what will happen is the solar panel will interface with the FBCM, charging the batteries during the uh, the daylight time. Um, when it's not on the light side, it's on the dark side, um, the batteries are engaged, um, basically running the rest of the system. So what our job was is to build the interface between the power system and um, the, the rest of the satellite. These satellites are in a kind of a cube formation. They're, they're pretty small, 10 by 10 by 10. Um, and what we did is um, allowed for kind of a plug and play. So what can happen is we'll have these power systems on these satellites. Um, and the user can plug in different loads and um, there's some plug and play adaptability with our power system. This is the interface between the, the solar panel and the batteries and allows for the, the charging of the batteries um, if, they're, if they're low um, from the satellite. Then you've got the, the standard buck and boost DC to DC converters. So what these two systems do is they take in unregulated DC voltages and produce regulated DC voltages to specific loads. Um, for instance, the, the boost might take in um, 8.2 volts from battery and produce anywhere up to 25, maybe 40 volts um, for a specific load use. And those arrangements can be seen here. So you take in 8.2 volts from the battery and it can produce 12 to 18 volts at 1 amp for a specific load. And those loads are defined by the user. Now the, the functionality um, is improved and controlled based off of the DSP, which Robert designed, and I'll let him talk about that. Uh, the DSP is actually the brain of, uh, of the project. It controls different um, MOSFET that operates the, the, P, the FBCM and the, and the BOC and the BOS converter. Uh, this is the software algorithm that was written for, for the uh, system. Um, this, the DSP has a eight DC converter to check the signal, the input uh, voltage, and the output voltage that's required. It determines uh, the maximum power that it should provide, and then the, based on that uh, information, it's going to turn on the FBCM or turn on the bulk of the bus. And that's it.